before Salman speaks, I think I want to hear from your perspective on the death of pan-Arabism, secularism within the Muslim world, because this is something we see in the Indian subcontinent, in Indonesia, in Malaysia. We see this even in the West. Look at the Muslim community in the 50s and 60s. Look at them today. I mean, one could argue, I mean, there's one academic who I remember, he was uh, he put up this thing on social media about how Western Muslims are actually far more, um, you know, religious than Basically, long story short, uh, I just want to hear your thoughts on this. Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head. That's exactly correct. You know, just all you have to do is look at look at what is the kind of historical change in the in the sixties and seventies. Uh, my own country, Egypt. You know, I've done some research sometimes to see what really were the main points of change. Yeah. And at the time of um, Sadat, obviously, when the alliance has changed from the Soviet Union to America. There was a little bit more tolerance to Muslim kind of presence yeah, and kind yeah, of yeah, dawah, yeah. if you like. Then Hosni Mubarak was much more, was much more tolerant. And so what that did was it allowed dawah and all of its forms by different people from different Islamic kind of persuasions yeah. to flourish. Yeah. And like you have this kind of personality like a Shahrawi, who's a huge name in Islamic dawah uh, kind of presence. And then you have the Salafis who did a gr huge job in Egypt, huge job. And they transformed effectively, I would say, even a, up to a quarter of the population into being kind of at least sympathetic to their cause. Then you had obviously the Muslim Brotherhood who were on the ground doing stuff as well. So everyone was kind of doing their own dawah. And then it did effectively change the opinion of the nation and the, the kind of uh, the, um, the, the main orientation of the nation from Arabism, from kind of having western inclinations very strongly western inclinations towards now a strongly islamic inclination and that continues to be the case uh in most of the arab in my opinion in most of the arab world yeah and um give it another 20 years and see what happens absolutely absolutely 